Supreme Court has ruled Donald Trump is disqualified from holding the office of the presidency. If it stands, the ruling means the GOP frontrunner would not appear on Colorado voters' ballots next year. Attorney Brett Odelson is here to help break down this big news. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, thanks. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate your time. You know, some other states have tried to keep Trump off of the primary ballot also, using the 14th Amendment. But why did it work in Colorado? Well, it barely worked in Colorado. It was a four to three decision of the uh, uh, Colorado Supreme Court with three justices uh, dis dissenting. Uh, it didn't work in Minnesota, and it is being tried in uh, other states. It may be tried in Illinois after the uh, presidential electors file the early part of January. Uh, the um, insurrection clause has not been used since the Civil War. So it's, uh, it's uh, uh, an old law uh, not tested since the uh, 1860s. So let me ask you this. Do you think that this will stand with the U.S. Supreme Court, or will you think that this uh, changes things for other states that are trying to maybe uh, make the same decisions? Uh, what, it, what it will do is get it to the Supreme Court, uh, because it, you have at least uh, uh, three states with two different decisions. That, that is uh, exactly the type of cases that the Supreme Court will look at. And since it involves the United States Constitution, uh, it is headed to the United States Supreme Court, where uh, with a six to three conservative majority, it may have a, a, a tough time uh, getting through. However, of the six conservative justices, uh, there are two who, who could swing for a strict construction of the uh, Constitution. So this this is headed to the uh, United States Supreme Court uh, pretty quickly. Well, do you think that people will still be able to do a write-in candidate of Donald Trump, or does this effectively take that even out of the picture? Uh, good question. Uh, I think people could write his name in uh, if he uh, applies to be a write-in in those states where he is put off the ballot. If he is elected by way of a write-in, I think he then can be tested as to whether uh, he could serve in office uh, with this type of uh, uh, legal ruling uh, hanging over his head. So the ultimate answer is, if the United States Supreme Court says you can use the 14th, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, uh, and it is tested in the states after the United Supreme Court has ruled, he very well may not be uh, on the ballot or able to hold office. Very interesting. All right. Thank you so much. I'm sure uh, we'll need to discuss things as they develop uh, further down the road. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.